Hello again, internets. This is Blackfly, and I want to discuss the uh, radiation storms and the glowing sea in Fallout 4. Um, Todd Howard has mentioned that the glowing sea is supposed to be where the bomb drops in Boston. And um, if we take a look at Vault 111's map here, you can see that's just south of where your vault location is. And um, Todd Howard has said that the storms, the radiation storms in the weather system for Fallout 4 are going to generate from this crater and then blow, uh, I guess depending on the wind system, maybe over the rest of the map. And he also mentioned that when lightning strikes, you'll get radiated, which I find really interesting. So you need to think about how you're going to react to the weather because the weather is going to be interactive as far as radiating you and possibly or damaging your health. Um, and it, it, what it looks like the the health system is going to be in the radiation system is that your your health bar is one thing and your radiation bar eats into your health so it's going to actually damage you this time whereas in previous Fallout games you could pretty much ignore your radiation until it reached a certain point and it never actually affected your health um, until you know you got radiation sickness and you would maybe lose a little bit of health over time uh, but this is actually going to eat into your health bar. So the radiation storms moving over the rest of the map are interesting. Uh, I would assume that you'd be okay if you went inside or if you just tried to avoid the storm altogether. But it's going to be interesting to see how these, uh, these radiation storms actually affect the world. I'm not sure he didn't mention, but I would assume that there would also be regular weather. Um, like regular rainstorms and maybe dust storms and things of that nature. But the radiation storms coming out of the glowing sea is a pretty big difference between this Fallout game and the previous Fallout games. Um, <clears throat> and Todd Howard also mentioned that that area is going to be the area that looks most similar to the wasteland scene um, from Fallout 3, which would be more of that desert-looking, uh, cracked landscape, um, totally desolate. And all the other images of Boston that we've seen so far look pretty vibrant and full of life compared to previous Fallout games. Even New Vegas, where they had that big settlement, it still didn't look as dense as what we're going to see with Fallout 4. So, what do you guys think about the radiation storms, and what's your plan? Are you going to try to avoid them, or are you just going to take the brunt of it and ignore the weather? I'm, uh, I'm planning to probably just take shelter inside if a radiation storm comes through and um, the lightning strikes, I've, the, the comment that Todd Howard made about the lightning strikes affecting your, your radiation level was really interesting to me. So if there's a radiation storm that comes through, it's, it may just be a slow um, cumulative radiation effect that happens while you're in the storm and then the lightning strikes would amplify that effect or be like a, a larger um, damaging effect or radiating effect. Um, or it could just be that the radiation storm itself doesn't affect you until the lightning cracks. Um, but what do you think? And uh, are you excited about this feature? Or um, do you think this is something that's out of place? I, I'm pretty excited about it. I think it fits in with the lore well. Um, and I also like uh, that the glowing sea is where the, the bomb dropped and uh, everything comes out of there and the weather system works to move that storm around. I think that's a really neat concept. So. Leave your comments and uh, like and subscribe and um, also check out the twitch.tv slash blackfly303 feed that will start at 11 p.m. central time on November 9th as soon as the game drops. It should be preloaded for me so we can start streaming immediately and I'm going to try and do that as, as non-stop as possible um, for the whole first playthrough and um, I hope to see you there. Thanks so much.